Arms Early Ice Cream Unit. When World War I ended, Savage Arms had less need for the manufacture of guns and turned to the new commercial refrigeration industry, which had just started to manufacture systems for preserving ice cream. This 1926 Savage Arms Unit, operating well in our museum, is one of the two types of early fermentics in which the refrigerant did not come into contact with the motor windings. Since the mid-1920s, fermentic systems have been designed so the refrigerant came in contact with motor windings. This is a special problem today since the new refrigerants have only been tested a short time in the field. History proves that most of the problems with hermetics have been due to refrigerant-caused winding problems which have developed through the years after the manufactured units have been produced. The Savage Arms compressor has no seal, no piston, or internal moving parts. Instead, it operates under the Archimedes screw principle, and as the entire unit rotates, a mercury column compresses the refrigerant gas. This design was presented in a paper at the December 1926 ASME meeting by Mr. J. G. de Reamer. Later, another paper was presented describing the design of the steel coil, whose elastic limit is never exceeded and therefore does not break. This makes possible its use as a hermetic. This compressor is unlike any made today in that it is hermetic, and yet refrigerant does not come in contact with motor windings. Could this design be modified to provide an important breakthrough for the future?